Okie dokie. Great problem here. They give us a table of our and bacteria mass values, and they ask us to use log plots to determine how fast the bacteria grows. So, um, it sounds super complicated, complex, whatever. It's not too hard. Let's talk through just the basic procedure on how to do it first. We will be using slope formula, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. However, before we just jump right into this, we want to take the natural log of the bacteria mass values first. So we are going to take the ln of 797. This will give us our y2. So instead of using this as y2 and this as y1, we need to take the ln of each of those values first. And then we will plug these into the slope formula. So what I'll kind of do is just go ahead and write out how we'll find our final answer in one fell swoop here. So this is our y2 minus y1, and we're dividing it by x2 over x1. So that's just our two hour values, our two time values. So this, calculating this, will give us our answer. All right, so let's open Desmos and see what we can do. So let's do big parentheses. We'll do ln of 797. Close that. Minus ln of 437. And we will divide this whole difference by 3 minus 1. 3 minus 1. All right. So we get about 0 0.300. Zero, so we can probably just call that point or 0. Point. Three. And so the answer with 0 0.3 will be our answer. We're finding the rate of change or the slope between those two points. And the h to the negative 1 is very silly, but what they're describing is 1 over h to the positive 1, or just 1 over h, because what they're saying is the bacteria mass is growing at uh, 0.3 per hour. So it's almost like saying, uh, I don't know, like miles per hour. It's always like miles over hour. And so hour is in the bottom. It's kind of that same idea, but represented in a terrible, terrible way. So you might ask, so that's kind of just the regular procedure. You might ask, why do we take the ln of both those values? So here's a little background if you're curious. If we plot it, these points right away, they're coming from some sort of exponential function. So in other words, at 1 and at 3, we have, say, 430 and almost 800. So we have these points. I'll just do a different scale here. So, um, you know, it's not going to be exactly accurate, but I'm just doing it to uh, create a little representation here. So these points currently or originally from this chart are on some sort of exponential graph or exponential function. So we can't use the slope formula to find the slope between these two points because we don't have a linear function. We don't have the equation of a line or a function of the line. So what taking the ln of those two points does, so if this is the original y, or I'll call it bacteria mass, bm, once we take the ln of the bacteria mass values, what it does is creates, or uh, I guess translates that exponential curve into a linear function. That's what allows us to take the ln, or I guess what well, that's what allows us to take the slope between those two points, because taking the ln converts them into a linear function. So that's the general idea. Hope that makes sense um, and makes this complex problem become a little easier. All right, feel free to check out another example I'll do a little bit faster, but I was just trying to give you some background here. All right.